Okay, hey guys, it's Arino3 here, and today I have a really cool flourish for you to learn. It's called a spray. So as you saw by the performance, it looks really awesome, and it's a cool way to shoot cards from one hand to the other, uh, and a really awesome way to display skill. Now you may have seen some magicians on TV, or on YouTube, or you may have just seen them live, uh, doing this move very casually. It's a very casual move um, when you get used to it, and it's just a quick way to dis display skill. Um, really awesome. Two things I want to say before we get started. There's going to be a new section to my channel called Flourishes. And this video is going to be a do, it's going to be an essentials of card magic because I feel that a spring is a very, very common thing that you should learn, a very essential thing that you should learn. Um, but also, it should, it's going to be in a flourish section, which is the new section to my channel or playlist. Um, so, there's just an insight into what uh, flourishes are going to coming, be coming up. So it's going to be the Sybil Cut by. by uh, I don't know who to buy, but yeah. The Sybil Cut, um, the Dynamo Shuffle, which is the actual Dynamo Shuffle with like the chin and everything, because the Sybil Cut is similar, but not exactly it. Um, there's also going to be a Dribble, there's going to be, um, there's going to be like Madonna, there's going to be the, the Flourish, not the person, and um, some basic ones like a fan as well. So let's move into. Um, tutorial for this right about now okay so sorry for the angle because I'm not in Dubai I'm in America so I do not have any of my gear so I'm trying to make this angle work so I apologize for that okay so you want to get a pack of cards that is uh, relatively new um, I wouldn't get a, a pack of cards that is clumping and sticking together that's really old that you don't want that um, I mean what there's no point in even having those cards anymore but anyway there's a uh, there's a few ways to spring a deck of cards. There's, you can spring them off the front of your fingers where you shoot the cards forward. I can't do it because I'm, I have a practice it and I don't feel the need to practice that one because I think this is the most important one. You can shoot it off the back uh, in the same way. And then you can shoot them off the corners, which is the way I'm going to teach you and it's the most common and helpful way, I would say, because it can be utilized in some moves such as the... Uh, shadow shadow spring or something like that i don't know whatever <laughs> but let's move into this so the way you want to grip the cards is if i was you i'm right-handed so you have to mirror if you're left-handed so what you want to do is you want to hold the deck portrait like this in mechanics grip in one hand so you're going to hold it like this you want to come over with the other hand and this is the way you're going to hold it so i'm just going to show you this is the way I hold a spring. So on the top right corner of the deck, I have my um, top right corner to me. I have my index finger and middle finger holding on like that. So my index is just above the corner and my middle is on the corner. Okay, and then my thumb is on the bottom left corner right over here. So uh, my hand's gonna be spaced off like this. So you can see that right there okay do you want to practice this grip and getting into it fairly quickly next thing is you want to practice bending the cards like this okay so once you get a good bend into it this deck now has a click in it but whatever uh, once you get a good bend into the cards you can practice doing spring so what I would recommend is when you're sitting at home just practice doing this because it can be a bit hard and frustrating at times when you're trying to spring and then you have to like press the cards really hard because if you're younger it's going to be a bit hard um but anyway you get into this position and this is how you start shooting so what you want to do is you're going to the way you're going to shoot this is it's actually going to fly off the back of your thumb so you're pressing down like this and you're slowly releasing pressure off the back so if I show you I'm slowly releasing pressure off the back by rolling my thumb upwards so if I was to do it like this I'd be squeezing like this and make rolling my thumb upwards like that. and that sort of shoots the cards downwards so if I show you um, this part will be in slow motion so hopefully you can understand okay so you got that so you can see how it's so I'm sort of shooting it off the back of my thumb uh, it's a pretty hard move to teach so um, sorry if I'm not explaining it as well but I'm just gonna repeat this until you get it. so when you're in this position 
as you shoot, as you're gonna be pressing down, you want to be releasing your thumb like this. Now the best way to practice this is hold the deck in your hand and instead of straight away going like this, I mean you're gonna be trying to just get that going. So get this. Don't even lift your hand, just tilt your hand to the right like this. And try and shoot it like that. Okay. Now, second thing, if your if your hand starts to hurt uh, when you're practicing this, I would recommend stopping because you don't want to hurt yourself, and it can actually injure your thumb if you uh, if you do this too often uh, in a short period of time. This happened to me uh, when I've been just when I first learned it. I was just push, pushing all my pressure on the card, just doing this. Relax, relax your hands, and just do this motion of tilting your hand right and releasing the back edge of the cards now once you've practiced that i can't really explain anything else because you have to just understand how to release it's a you'll get it by yourself if you practice enough and uh watch performance enough um hopefully that slow motion helped you the second thing is the catching lots of people when they spring the cards fall all over the place as if I show you the cards fall all over the place. So the way you can stop this is when you spring. When I spring, my cards are still pretty random. But the way I've learned to fix this is once you start springing at a short distance like this, like about this far apart. So that would be around, if I had to measure from my palm to my other palm, 10 centimeters. So just practice at this distance and that'll help you with your aim, it'll, it's, it's a, the cards can't go very far so it'll just help you with keeping your hand steady. Then you start to increase distance um, and you also want to practice your speed because once you start increasing your distance this may happen where you're like speeding up, slowing down, speeding up, slowing down. You want to constantly move your thumb up at a, at this constant pace so it's very easy for you to spring the cards so once you get better at it you can move your hand up what i've seen a lot of people do is they move their hand like this okay because they've been practicing this they move their hand like this which is wrong uh it, there's no wrong and right way but it doesn't look as cool if you want to get a, that nice spring motion like this you want to bring your hand up so bring your right hand, as you start springing, you're going to slowly bring the right hand upwards. So, like that. I'm trying to slow down my spring, even though it's impossible. So, um, I'm going to slowly bring your right hand up. And then as you come as you come to the end of the packet, you're going to start bringing your hand down. But I, you bring your hand up slowly and go down fast. So like this. As you, and you need to be literally at the end of your back end. There needs to be like three cards left or something. So you th and at the end, what I like to do is like to do this throwing motion and leave my hand empty like that. Uh, just a nice flourish. Uh, so once you've got um, a nice motion coming out, you need to just practice that stretch and then come down. You can increase the length of your spring a lot by moving your left hand down and then moving your right hand up. Or you can move your left hand. Only move your left hand. The deck with the card, with the place where the cards are getting ca caught. It's pretty hard because I'm in a restrained angle, but um, you'll get the idea once you start practicing it. So I can't stress enough how knacky this move is, and uh, how much practice you need. This really is a constant practice move. Um, obviously, don't try and hurt yourself if you're uh, practice it too much, because you can actually uh, get a cramp in your hand and uh, just it hurts um, but once you get used to the motion of just releasing not not riffling but releasing if you sh if I try and show you with my thumb again so I'm putting pressure like this I'm pressing pushing the cards and releasing upwards so if once you get used to that motion you can follow the instructions and start going like this then start going up and in like a 10 centimeter gap 
so you get that direct aim then you can then when you get more comfortable you really need like loads of practice even that 10 centimeter and even just doing this you're gonna start shooting the parts from this high so um obviously when i started i was failing but you need to just keep on going at it when you keep on going at it you'll get it it took me about uh two weeks to learn um um but you probably be better than this at me um if you practice enough i didn't practice enough so yeah but uh that's why it took me long but once you get this down you'll look awesome um i've actually had a number of my performances where i'll be like just doing a spring in in the middle of the trick i'm like okay so brace your card back in and before they do i just do a spring and they're like uh whoa like they actually say that they're like oh my god do you see that skill so it, it just shows pure skill when you do it looks awesome and frankly it's not that hard once you get used to it um so just follow the instructions rewind the video if you ha if you must um uh, i and comment below if you think i should do more slow motion uh performances so you can better understand it when in my tutorials so hope you enjoyed this video hopefully you'll use the spring uh and it'll make you look awesome show this great deal of uh, skill as i keep on saying um but thanks guys for watching uh hope you enjoyed the video uh please like comment and subscribe uh and i'll see you next time